people were shot and killed right outside one of Omaha's biggest tourist attractions. Yeah, it happened more than 10 years ago, and ever since, detectives have been trying to figure out who killed the couple and why. Now they're hoping a big Crime Stoppers reward will crack another cold case. It was an interesting case. Uh, it's something that we don't normally see a lot. A double homicide. Security guards patrolling outside the Henry Dorley Zoo in the pre-dawn hours of July 22, 2010, saw two people in the grass. They thought the parties were just sleeping, but upon further close-up investigation, they saw that there was blood around one of the victims. So they called police, and the homicide unit, including Jeremy Christensen, responded. We had discovered two victims who had been uh, killed by gunfire. There were no signs of a struggle, so we believe it was probably somebody they knew. They are the victims, 43-year-old Michael Anderson and 23-year-old Paige Miller. He was a freelance part-time mechanic. She, a young mother of three and dancer at a nightclub near downtown. She was very outgoing and very loved. Just hours after the crime, we talked with Miller's friends. She was a good friend, dude. She may not have been like the best person, you know, but I mean, you know, physical wise, but she was, she was a really good friend. And those friends said Miller did have a problem with drugs. I tried to help her out as much I can because she was going through a lot. And Anderson had spent time in jail for possession of methamphetamine. With all our cases, we do a lot of victimology uh, to try and determine how our victims lived because sometimes that can lead us to clues on, on how they were killed. There was a, a narcotics nexus with, with using drugs and things of that nature. In fact, just days after the murders, police arrest Miller and Anderson's next door neighbors for drugs. We do know that they did know each other at the time, but uh, we're, there was no direct connection to the homicide at that time. Is there now? Uh, you know, it's something we continue to look into. The obvious question, if he was busted for dealing meth or manufacturing meth, and she had a drug problem, one plus Correct. one. There's, there's obviously a lot, of, depending on who you talk to, there's a lot of different theories about why Mike and Paige were killed. Some of them are probably more plausible than others, uh, but that, that gentleman's arrest was one we certainly looked into. Now because of all the players who may or may not be involved and the different theories, Christensen says this case has really been a challenge, but it's not one he's giving up on. The, the one thing I would say about any good homicide detective is they don't like to lose. So if you know anything about the murders of Anderson and Miller, get that information to Crime Stoppers. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could get a $25,000 cash reward and no one will know your name.